everybody and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who has left beautiful, nice comments both on my Instagram and on my latest video here on YouTube. And yeah, I'm so thankful for all of you who have subscribed and everything. It has made my whole week. And today I just thought like, let's just, just keep it simple, keep it casual. It's torrential rain outside. I hope you guys can't hear it. And today, we're gonna do an empties video. Empties is one of my favorite videos to watch when you just go through a bunch of products that you have finished up and you give like a full on review. Sometimes I feel like I need a lot of time to, you know, thoroughly feel something about a product. <laughs> so today I have a bunch of products here. Mostly I feel skincare and hair care, but there's some makeup, there's some good things. And I just thought I would share with you guys First of all, the one that I've used up is Aussie's Awesome Volume Shampoo for Fine Limp Hair. I don't really have fine hair, which is probably why this one didn't really make my hair amazing. I love Aussie products normally. I think they smell nice. Ooh, this still smells like a lot, but I don't know. This one has just not really done anything for my hair. It was just a normal shampoo. But I feel like if you really have fine limp hair, then this might, you know, give you some extra boost. So just, I have such thick and heavy hair and this was not like strong enough to actually give it some volume. But I mean, it did clean my hair and make it smell nice. So I have nothing really against it. It just didn't give me the awesome volume. <laughs> Next, we have the L'Oreal Elvital Extraordinary Clay. It's a beautifying shampoo with no silicone. So that's good. But it claims that it's going to give you 72 hour purity and an ultra light feel. And that's where I'm like, the only problem I have against this. I mean, I use them up, so I don't hate them. But I don't really feel like my hair stayed clean for 72 hours. So, I mean, it's targeted for normal hair. And I obviously have a very oily scalp. So, I mean, if you have normal hair, I feel like this could maybe keep your hair cleaner for a little bit longer. But maybe not 72 hours. I don't know. And the last shampoo <laughs> for this time. I know I go through so much. Maria Nila is a Swedish brand and I really enjoy their products. And I think that's why it hurts me even more that I don't love this product. So this is a silver shampoo, which is, you know, for anyone who has blonde hair or highlights or something like that. And you don't want your hair to turn completely yellow. So... Therefore, you use a silver shampoo to counteract the yellowness and you get more like bright, clear blonde hair. The only thing I have with this is I just feel like it wasn't strong enough. I didn't see a difference in my hair, you know, when it comes to the yellowness. I just didn't. And I do wonder if there's something that is a sheer silver shampoo, that this is like a sheer version and then they have more of a stronger version. Next for hair, we have Batiste. <laughs> I go through so many of these. This is their dry shampoo. And yeah, I have three different ones. I have the Florin Flirty Blush, Clean and Classic Original, and Cool and Crisp Fresh. I must say these two are my favorite. I use Batiste every other day because when I clean my hair, it stays clean for basically one day and then the other day, I'm gonna have to go in with a dry shampoo to you know prolong uh, the time in between my washes because I don't want to wash my hair every single day. It's just not good for your hair. So yeah, dry shampoos is a lifesaver. I don't have much else to say about this. This is the UK's number one brand and it's also my number one brand. It's inexpensive and it does what it says it should do. It's a great dry shampoo. <laughs> Next up, we have the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Waters. I've used two of these. I have the one for dry skin and the one for normal sensitive skin. But to be honest, I don't know a bit of a difference between these ones. I feel like they're exactly the same, but I enjoy both of them. I use them uh, just to remove my eye makeup before I go in and cleanse my face. And I think they do a great job at that. They don't sting my eye, they don't leave any Residue, I feel like they are great. Another skin item I'm loving are just cleansing wipes. I have two here. I have the Nivea cleansing wipes for sensitive skin. 
has no perfume, colorants and alcohol. This one, I'm gonna have to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of. I just felt like they were kind of dry. And yeah, I like my wipes to be kind of saturated and very moist. Moist, I'm sorry. Some people hate that word, I'm sorry. But yeah, and then I have the simple wipes. These ones I got as a gift to my friend. And these ones I actually enjoy way more than this one. The simple wipes claims to remove even waterproof mascara and has no artificial perfume or colors. I really enjoy these. I feel like they're more wet than these ones. And they do remove your mascara really well. Next up we have the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb. I love the Moisture Bomb Sheet Mask, the range of that, so I just thought I have to pick this up to give it a go. And I actually really enjoyed this one. Uh, I don't really use moisturizers from the drugstore that often, but this one I actually really enjoyed. I felt like it was moisturizing. This is for dehydrated skin to all skin types, and I really do need moisture in my skin and I felt like this did a good job. Next I have a few sheet masks and when I say a few I mean like 12, 13. I actually got these from my mother. She was so nice and bought me a whole bunch. Oh, I'm so grateful because I've really enjoyed these and just slapping them on whenever I feel like I need a pick me up or my skin is a little bit dull and dehydrated. I do recommend these actually. I feel like they're good and quite inexpensive especially when they're having like a deal on or something and yeah i enjoyed them and then for makeup i have max prep and prime fix plus i love this one and i'm so sad to see it be gone i use it to set my face because it melts makeup together so beautiful nothing looks like powdery or anything it's beautiful and also for using like, you know, eyeshadows, you want to make more vibrant or more metallic, you can use it. It's a good like all-arounder, so I might have to go pick it up. Next I have the Perfect Match La Touche Magique. This is a highlighting concealer and anti-fatigue illuminating concealer. This is from L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal. And yeah, this is a little dark for me actually. I have the color Natural Beige. So I used to use these ones at like just, I apply a little bit around my nose, a little bit underneath my eyes and I blend it in and it's my go-to like no makeup makeup look. Like if you just want to perfect your skin a little bit. I don't love the whole packaging with the twisty bottom and you know the brush. These are not my favorite but it works perfectly fine. I don't think I will go out and repurchase this one because I like other concealers better but I enjoyed it. Next I have the Young Bloods Natural Mineral Loose Foundation. I've had this for such a long time. The text is rubbed off. Like these last a long time. I really enjoy these just for, as I said, like the concealer for those no makeup makeup days. I just like take a little bit of this, sweep it across my face and you look instantly more fresh, but there's still like barely anything on your face. I was into color cool beige. Beige? I've never been beige in anything. I'm just ivory or light or pale or something very light. But cool beige. That's probably the highlighters. <laughs> but no, I really enjoyed this one and I don't know. I just don't see myself using it that much that I would repurchase it. But I feel like for people who don't like that foundation feeling on your face, you want something lighter but still with a decent amount of coverage, I definitely recommend these ones. Next, I have the Maybelline Last Sensational Lash Multiply Mascara. This is definitely a lot of people's faves. I've used, I don't know, two, three of these and I just keep going back to them. Totally recommend this one for anyone who would want like voluminous big lashes without getting too clumpy. I feel like this one does a good job of not making them crazy clumpy. And last but not least, we have my little baby product here from Essence. This is their Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. This is in the color, I think it's called something Blondie Brow. It's gone completely. I've used this so much and it's I just enjoy these. They set my brows in place, give it a little bit of oomph, make them look a little bit more voluminous. For being an eyebrow mascara, this is so good for the price. I feel like Anyone who's maybe wanting to try the Benefit one or something, but you're like, oh, it's a little bit expensive. I recommend you try this one out first. It's so nice. That is everything for this video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you got some tips on some trading scheme you want to try out. Maybe you have a suggestion for me. Leave it in the comments below. I would love to check that out. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.